Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I just um, want to, um, I just have a very brief message. Um, today is another one of those high watch days. Uh, I think it's actually um, tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow um, for the rapture. And um, we all know that a lot of these watchmen, well, not a lot of them, but all of them have been wrong so far. But um, you know, today and tomorrow is a super, super high watch date. And um, you know, personally, I have to admit I'm a bit jaded when it comes to that. But it doesn't mean that I'm right. Okay, um, the Lord Himself told us that when we begin to see these things happening all around us, the birth pangs, you know, the wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, pestilences, to look up for our redemption draws near. And, you know, look up, that means, to me, that's like a high watch. Like, look is like watching and up is high. I know it's a stupid um, connection, but um, I just want to encourage each and every one of us that we still are in the season and um, we're close. I don't know that for sure. I'm not, a, I'm not trying to be a prophet. I haven't had any prophetic dreams, but... You know, um, this past week, I've watched a couple of videos or, or heard some com read some comments on Twitter and uh, about the high watch dates being unbiblical. Well, that is simply not true because the, the very concept of high watch came from Jesus himself. You know, he didn't tell us to keep looking up forever. You know, he didn't tell us to just look up the whole entire time. He specifically told us, to start looking up when we see these things begin to happen and these things are beginning to happen they've been happening so it's not like we're just perpetually supposed to be looking up waiting for the skies or the clouds to open up but instead we look for these signs and you know if these aren't the signs I really don't know what the signs are because to me it, it doesn't get more uh, exact as what we're seeing today when it comes to the wars and rumors of wars the overall immorality that's going on around the world just like the days of noah and people you know generally beginning to um have a good time all over again you know people marrying being given in marriage you know all those things we're seeing around us i know at least a couple of people who are getting married this year and um, you know it's supposed to be like a, a, a record year for marriages so I, I, I still think we're it folks and um, hopefully the rapture does happen you know in the next couple of days and will I be disappointed if it doesn't of course and as, as I've been saying you know this whole time unless you're really watching then you know you're not gonna be disappointed but if you are truly watching then you will be disappointed so if you're not getting disappointed then you better um, examine your heart Make sure that you're truly of the faith because um, those who belong to Jesus, as I've been saying, will really have a longing for him. It doesn't matter if you're pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib, whatever. If, if you're a post-tribber and you know, you're know you truly of the faith, you, you would pray that you were wrong every day. You know? You're not going to be um, looking out for pre-tribbers like myself and start mocking them and hoping that the dates we're looking forward to are duds you know that's not the right heart to have if you truly belong to the lord so anyway just um I, that's all i wanted to say keep looking up guys and um hopefully we'll see each other in the air soon more importantly we'll see jesus in the air soon till next time and hopefully there won't be a next time oh the gospel believe in jesus christ if you're not saved you can still get saved Okay, you're, you're a sinner. Why are you a sinner? How are you a sinner? You have broken God's commandments. Okay, you, you've, you've lusted after someone. You've hated someone in your heart. And that all counts as murder and adultery, according to the Bible, according to Jesus. And the Bible also teaches that if you um, stumble in one part of the law, if you break one commandment, you're guilty of breaking each and every single one of them. So just imagine facing God on Judgment Day being guilty of every single commandment what do you think is going to happen to you well that's the bad news you know you're going to get thrown into hell the lake of fire but the good news is that jesus died on the cross to take the penalty of your sins my sins from the past the present and the future and then he rose on the third day physically 
And now he's in heaven pleading for us. He's our advocate. He's our mediator. He paid the penalty of all our sins. And all you got to do is put your faith in that fact. His completed work on the cross that he paid for it all. And if you do that, then you're saved. You believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. And he did all this for you. Then you, you will be saved. And you can be guaranteed heaven. And you're also going to be guaranteed participation in the rapture. So don't wait, don't wait, folks. I'm, you know, the day of salvation is now. It's today. So don't be stupid. Get saved today if you're not saved.